guys, how's it going? So today's video is a little bit random. It doesn't really have much to do with gardening, but I am at the garden center, so I think it counts. So what I'm working on today is we're having our holiday open house tomorrow and Saturday here at the garden center. Um, and what that is, is we just uh, decorate the whole place out with Christmas stuff, uh, Christmas trees, ornaments, decor, um, all kinds of pretty things. My mom and I just spent the whole morning baking uh, for it. So we have treats, we have a, uh, door prizes. It's just a really fun couple of days where a lot of our customers and friends come in and I don't know it just always has felt like it's kicked off our holiday season so anyway that's what we've been working on until right now it's like mid-afternoon but the rest of the afternoon I'm going to be working on this right here so that's just a great big old chalkboard it's four feet tall and six feet wide and I'm just gonna do something on it I don't know I am NOT a professional by any stretch of the imagination um, and I'm just using straight-up regular chalk <laughs> um, so we never usually whatever we put on that board we never mean for it to last very long because we like it to change so I don't use any of like the special chalk pens or anything that's impervious to weather I just use straight-up chalk when it starts looking crappy we erase it and put something else on it um, so it goes pretty good or it goes it's pretty easy to change so anyway that's what I'm working on first I've got to take some treats inside I've got pumpkin bars in here I think yeah and pretzels yum one of my favorites it's gonna be a chore just keeping everybody out of the cookies until tomorrow so here are all of our sandwich boards that we're gonna put out throughout the town my sister and I painted these last year they look pretty good I think same on both sides easy to read so before I start on the chalkboard project I thought I would give you guys a little tour of the inside of the garden store right now it's really pretty they've just got all of their poinsettias in last night I think and Christmas cactus so it's looking super festive so we'll start right here because this is the front door the windows are cute big white packages with red bows you can see them from a mile away and then you can see like back in here we have bulbs and then there's seeds that's a chalkboard I did a couple years ago. We have a little bit of fall stuff left. And we try to set things up in themes. So this is kind of a cute snowman Santa Claus. White and silver tree. And then here's the front counter right here, you guys. This is like my favorite spot ever. With all the seed bins up here. Those right there are bulk grass bins. There's amaryllis in here. This is our display of air plants. Um, this is our wall of organics right here. Quite a few options. Of course, these are always fun. All the seed racks. And there's a whole bunch more over here. Little lean we're ordering for the next year right now for 2018. And then this is kind of an exciting one. This is all local seeds that have been produced uh, here in the Treasure Valley. Unique Idaho natives and heirlooms, kind of fun. And this tree doesn't look like it's on. Go look. There it goes. Got some Christmas lights now. So if you swing this way, we've got more like product. There's birding stuff. Um, there's hydroponic and grow lights. We've got books over here and a bunch of tools. I love these right here. I just love the way they feel and I love the way they look. I have several of them. This right here is going to be our treat table. So it's all cleared off, ready to go. And this is where people will sign up for door prizes as well. But just look at how pretty all these poinsettias are. They're beautiful. There's a Santa tree. And then back this way, we have a bunch of fairy garden things. Really cute stuff. Look at that cart with the sticks. So fun. And then when you go through this doorway right here, this is our sunroom. Look at all the lights, isn't that fun? It's a little overcast today, so it's not super bright back here. This is kind of like a wildlife tree, like a woodland tree here. Really cute bird ornaments. Beautiful poinsettias. Then we've got tons of succulents. You guys would love it back here. Look at these echeverias. Oh my goodness. Like, that's my hand. Look at how big those are. 
and this is fun. So when we were up in the hills, um, this is a time or two ago when, when I went up with my parents, we gathered a bunch of mossy branches. Like look at this right here. This was just laying on the ground. Uh, and we use stuff like that in here to display things. It's nice because you can hang things off of them and they just look really perfect for a garden center, I think. And then Christmas cactus, look at those. Aren't those so pretty? I think we got a great price on them. These are only $11.99 and there's a couple of them planted in each one of these nice containers with top dress. And they're big. So I don't know if you can see, it's kind of shrouded by a big bunch of branches, but the red right here is a bird cage. It's a huge bird cage that like several people can fit inside of. The guys down here just build it out of scrap lumber that we had. And there's only one finch in here right now. Nope, can we see it right there? It's a zebra finch. He's not very accepting of anything we put in there with him, so he gets to be alone. <laughs> he doesn't play well with others. So here are my supplies. I'm just gonna use a yardstick a ruler, a pencil, and then just the regular dustless white chalk. And then these are my notes. I was looking at different fonts that I liked. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet. And then this is what I'm thinking right here. So I kind of grid it out. I know it's four feet tall and six feet wide. So I kind of split it in half so I don't, you know, mess up my wording so that everything fits proper. Um, and then I have to do a bunch of math to figure out how wide in inches every single letter needs to be so in the end i just hope everything fits on the board that's all all right so you can see here that there's a menagerie of lines on this board that i'm actually not utilizing those are from previous um chalkboard signs so i really do need to get in here and repaint it with another layer of chalkboard paint before i probably do another sign um, after this Christmas one. But you can see that I went ahead and penciled in the letters because I just really wanted to make sure that they were gonna fit before I started in with chalk. And all the rest of the details I'm just gonna fill in after. Um, I get the wording done and an outline done of some kind uh, and so then I'll put some kind of designs in there. Um, but don't judge me, I am no artist whatsoever. I give it a good shot but I figure with this type of uh, board it's kind of perfect because it doesn't have to look like you're not looking at it for a long long time you're looking at it until it rains really hard the next time so that's about perfect for my type of art so here's the chalk here we go One of these days I'm gonna get smart and buy some stencils for those letters because I pretty much freehanded them up there. I mean, I penciled them in and used a ruler to try to get the lines as straight as possible. Um, but all of the, like the R's, you can tell, the R's and the S's are a little wonky, but you know what, adds to the charm, right? And then for the Christmas balls that are decorating the top and the bottom, I used a plate that I found in the kitchen See, fits perfect. And then I used this bowl for the larger size. And I also only used three pieces of chalk for this whole entire chalkboard and used them down to a nub. But I thought that that was pretty good and I didn't have much chalk left. Yeah, there's only a couple more pieces in there. So I was a little stressed about that. And I always feel like I'm racing the clock these days. It's getting dark like around five o'clock. It's like right before five right now and it's pretty dim out here. And it's about 45 degrees so I am freezing cold. My hands are freezing, my face is freezing. Um, and so I was kind of rushing through it. Anyway, I know that's a totally random project, way different than what we normally do. But it was what I was working on today. Thought you guys might enjoy seeing it. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.